Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet another really great textured stitch and I'm calling this stitch an interlocking cluster stitch. I'll confess when I found it I did not have a name for it so I'm just naming it based on how it is constructed. Uh, so this is it. On the one side it's very heavily textured with these bobble stitches uh, or cluster stitches and V stitches and then on the back it has this really unique look to it. I absolutely love it. Today for the tutorial I'm going to be using a five millimeter crochet hook as well as two different colors of a Pima cotton by Lion Brand yarn. This is a worsted weight 100% cotton. You can use any yarn or hook you choose. Links to both of these items will be in the description of the video as well as a direct link to the free written pattern which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here I invite you to subscribe. Say hello down in the comments. I would love to hear your thoughts on this stitch, how you would use it in a project and you can leave that down in the comments. Also, again, don't forget to subscribe. Our stitch today is worked in rows. You're going to start by taking your color A. You're also welcome to work this pattern in one color as well or mo many more. Uh, today I'll be working with the two. So make your slip knot and then work a foundation chain. Your foundation chain will need to be a multiple of three stitches plus two. So today I'm going to chain a total of 23 stitches. And there's 23. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin by working a double crochet into the fourth chain from your hook. Chain one and then double crochet once again into the same stitch. This is called a V stitch. We're going to be working them a lot throughout this pattern. You're then going to uh, skip the next two stitches, one, two, and then into your next stitch work another V stitch. You're going to repeat this all the way across, skip to work a V stitch into your next stitch, uh, repeat that all the way across to your final stitch. At the end of row one, when you come to your final chain, you have one left over, simply double crochet into that final stitch. Chain one, and then turn your work. For row two, into your first stitch, work one single crochet. Chain one, now working, uh, skipping the next V stitch and working into the space between your two V stitches. So skip the next stitch and in between that one and the next one, you're going to work a single crochet, chain one, followed by a double crochet cluster into the same space. To work your double crochet cluster, yarn over, insert your hook into that same space, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. Repeat that two more times. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. One more time. You'll have four loops on your hook, yarn over, and pull through all four. 
chain one and then back down into that same space, work a single crochet. So into this one space, you have a single crochet, chain one, double crochet cluster, chain one, single crochet, all into the same space between those two V stitches. Chain one, skip the next V stitch, and then again into the next space between the two V stitches, work a single crochet, chain one, double crochet cluster, chain one and single crochet, chain one, skip the next V into the next space, repeat. You're going to do that all the way across to your final V stitch. At the end of your row two, you've worked your final clusters and single crochet stitches. You have one V stitch remaining and your chain three. So you're after your single crochet stitch, chain one, and then you're simply going to work one single crochet stitch into the top of your starting chain. If you would like to change color at this point, uh, how I like to change color is insert your hook into that stitch using your color A, yarn over, draw up a loop. You can then drop your color A and leave it attached because you'll pick it up on your way back. Place your color B on your hook and pull through. Some people like to use a slip knot there at the beginning. It's up to you. So then you are going to chain three and turn your work. For row three, you are going to, you've chained three, which counts as a stitch, into the center of the first V stitch, that is two rows below, you're going to work a V stitch. So yarn over and you're just inserting your hook into the center of that V stitch two rows below and work a V stitch. Double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. Skip the next cluster and single crochet stitches and again into the center of the next V stitch, two rows below, work one V stitch. You are going to repeat that, so V stitch into the center of each V stitch all the way across until you come to your final single crochet and you're going to finish off with a double crochet into the top of that single crochet stitch. At the end of your row three, double crochet into that first stitch and then turn your work. Chain one and turn your work. We're now going to continue repeating rows two and three, working two rows in each color. So for our row three, we worked uh, in our color B. We're going to continue working in our color B for row four, single crochet, into that first stitch, chain one, skip the next V stitch, into the space, which is above your cluster, into the space between that next V stitch and the one after, single crochet, chain one, double crochet cluster, chain one, 
chain one and single crochet back down into the same space, chain one, skip the next v-stitch and repeat. So that was your row two. At the end of your row two you're going to uh, change back to your color A and then work two rows in your color A and switch back and so forth. I'll work through to the end of this row for you just so I can show you uh, how you're going to pick up your color especially if you haven't fastened off yet. This is my last cluster. Chain one into the top of my starting chain. Work a single crochet, but in the middle of a stitch, I'm going to drop that color B, pick up my color A again. Be careful not to pull it too tight. You don't want to cause your fabric to bunch. Place it on your hook and pull through. Chain three and turn your work. You're then going to continue repeating your rows three and row two and uh, for as long as you're what you would like the pattern fasten off weave in your ends and that's all there is to working this interlocking cluster stitch so thank you so much for joining me once again I invite you to subscribe feel free to say hello down in the comments and I look forward to seeing you again next week until then, happy crocheting. Bye.